Hello, my name is Pratasilaos. They call me Prot. In this video, I want to do a demonstration of BSPWM, which stands for the Binary Space Partitioning Window Manager. This is a tiling window manager that I am using on Debian GNU Linux. And I want to show you what a tiling window manager is, some of the main features of BSPWM, and some of the additions I have made, some of the configs I have. So, a tiling window manager will automatically tile new windows. So the idea of tiling is it places them next to each other rather than the stacking paradigm, paradigm, which is on top of each other. So you see windows are placed in tiles. I, I can dynamically increase the gaps between them so you can see what is going on. Um, as you can see, there um, a border is drawn around the active window so that I know where I am on the screen, which uh, window is uh, has the attention. Um, I can expand or contract windows dynamically. And this is very useful, very easy. Let's close some windows. I can maximize it and then it goes back in place. Full screen, back in place. So as I said, um, the default is to tile windows and it tiles them, BSPWM will tile them in a spiral. So you see, you see how it has formatted them. I can rotate the layout. This is a clockwise rotation. I can do the same counterclockwise. I can also flip the layout vertically, you see. It mirrors it on the other side. And when I don't want to have the automatic tiling mode, I can enter the manual mode, the manual tiling mode. So I specify a direction. First I have to specify, so you see this area here, which is a, a bit of a lighter dark. I control it, I can define where I want. So this means that the next window will occupy this area. But not only I can define the direction, I can also define the ratio of the next window in comparison to the space occupied by the current window. So this is like nine tenths of the current window and this is like a half. You get the idea. Let's, let's do like this. So the next window will occupy this space. And then I can do it again. But if I just open a new window, it opens in, tiling, in automatic tiling again. And this is useful when, when you want to have some, specifically something next to each other. There are many good use cases for it, though I normally use the automatic mode. Now, gaps between windows are built into BSPWM. I normally work with uh, small values. This is zero gaps. This is five pixels. This is 10, I think. This is what I would prefer to work in. And then I can go incrementally and do whatever I want. I can do something like this. Though obviously the use case for this, uh, I don't think there is a use case for this other than demo purposes. But you get the idea. So let's do, let's do a showcase of some of the stuff I have added. So of course, the, ah, so I, I didn't show, let me show you quickly that I can move windows in any direction I want. So this is the active window and I can move it wherever I feel like. So it swaps position with the window that is in the direction it moves in. So you see, and now let me show you some of my stuff. First of all, let's print some colors. Increase this a bit so that you can see. And now I have, I have incorporated some color schemes that I have developed myself and I have incorporated them in my system. So I will switch to a light color scheme now. And what it will do is it will live reload everything so that it has different colors. So this is Tempus, my color schemes are called Tempus and updated colors to Tempus Day, this is the theme. So different colors for the terminal and different colors for graphical applications, including flat pack applications. 
Now graphical applications will use a GTK theme, which I don't have one of mine, one of my own. So I'm using the Arc theme. This is the default Arc theme. It's a light variant by default. And if I switch to a dark theme, let's use another theme now that you can see as well. I switch to different colors again, you see. And this switches to Arc Dark. Um, I could change the GTK theme. I can change the GTK icon theme. I can do whatever I want. Let's switch back to the colors I was using in the beginning. Close this graphical application. Now, of course, you can see there are notifications here. The icon theme used for the notifications is Papyrus, um, which also is a custom thing. The notification uh, um, program is called Danced which is very good. I like it. It's configurable. The panel here at the top is lemon bar and uh, I have configured it to my needs. It shows exactly the information I need. Um, it uses a bitmap font, whereas the terminal here uses um, outline fonts. Um, this is a font uh, I have uh, patched myself. It's a variant of hack. A very good font and I distribute it with my dot files and uh, my dot files in case you are interested let's open a vim mission and I have an alias here so my dot files are these if you are interested and this is my website and of course, HTTPS. That's all for now, folks. Thank you for your attention.